My name is Bruce Parry. I'm from the UK, although I live now in Ibiza in Spain. And um, yeah, I, I'm here um, because I uh, because I heard about this place. I'd heard a lot about this place. I've drunk ayahuasca quite a few times in different parts of the world. I'd had lots of friends who came here and they were all saying really beautiful things. Uh, and then I had a really close friend who was coming right now and, uh, and so I decided to join her and, uh, and here I am. I always come with a certain amount of trepidation whenever I drink and a deep respect for the plant and for the process that I'm going through. And also I, I like to find the sacred in it. You know, so it's a form of worship in a way for me. And so I came here with the same trepidation as I always come to, to meet the plant. Um, but the thing that first struck me was just how well organized this place is and how much is going on here and how, how really well it caters for all of the needs of people like myself who come here um, in need of healing. And I'm no different to anyone else. I'm, I'm in need of healing. And so the experience was really beautiful, really profound and ultimately just what I needed. This is always the case, isn't it? You know, you get what you need. And, um, and yeah, I've, I've really been blown away, actually. I mean, I know that I'm only in a very small part of what is a much bigger program and organization here. There's huge grounds. And I had a little look around. I'm especially interested and excited by the permaculture and the outreach and the recycling and the vision of this place to be able to really be self-sustaining in a really ecologically harmonious way. Also encapsulating local communities around, I think that's fantastic. And when you really see the energy and the love of the people who come, who are part of that bigger program, it's really inspiring. And so many things that I'd like to bring into my own life that are really already happening here, really actually happening here. Quite apart from also the healing itself, you know, the, the people who come for two weeks like I did, which happens all year round. And, and it's a hospital. We come in and it's the same program for every group that comes. And you think to yourself, well, I'm just another part of a, a cog in a machine. But actually, it's so well organized, you know. And having been to a number of different centers and having taken ayahuasca in a number of different places, I, I kind of was curious as to how that was going to unfold, you know. How can they have such a big throughput of people and still have that personal touch, still be able to cater for those real needs that people have when they come? And I was absolutely blown away at every turn. I mean, I really can't fault it. It's, it's absolutely great. It's really, um, it really works, you know. And I'm here with 20 people and we're, we're all just having the most amazing healing experience. Many of the people who are here, it's their first time. And I think everyone apart from one who hasn't had such a deep experience, but everyone else has like had a life-changing experience. I mean, they use that word, th those words. And, um, and, and it's so heartening to be able to share with other people in their own process, in their own healing, and seeing how they are all talking so, so deeply and so purely from their own hearts um, in a way that they say they, they don't often do um, and just saying how, how much it's affected them, how much they're going to go back home and try and bring this into their lives, how their relationships they look at differently now, how they see often the errors of their ways, how they see decisions that they've made in the past might have not have been from their true selves, how conditioned they are, how, you know, how, how they feel now that there's another part of them that's, that they're able to connect with, that's speaking to them, that is giving them a direction in life that they feel is much more wholesome for them and for their relationships with those around them. And not only are they going to go home and bring that into their lives, but also maybe also influence others in a positive way. And I, uh, I say that for myself too. I mean, this has been my journey with ayahuasca. To be in that space, held in an environment with, um, with the real wisdom of the Shabibo uh, maestros and maestras who really know what they're doing, who really bring th those, those 
<clears throat> you know, the, the, they bring it out of you. The, they somehow manage to attach on to what it is that's required in your body, whether it's past trauma or blockages in your energy systems or whatever it is, or the fact that we're all stuck in our heads and that we, we're not enough in our intuitive cells and our heart spaces in our bodies. And, and they somehow manage to play with their amazing voices to get you into a space that either induces vomiting or brings insights. And, and they do it, you know. So you're in, this, in, in the hands of these amazing, heal, amazing healers and also supported by staff who are caring and compassionate and loving and really make you feel that, you are, that you're special and important and that they're there for you. And, and it works, you know. It's a hospital. It's a hospital. And around the hospital is, is this other thing that is a support structure that's in every way, I think, exemplary uh, as, as a harmonious, ecologically um, sustainable um, sort of uh, family, I guess. And yeah, you know, I, I'm leaving this place really, really impressed. I'm really happy to come here and totally, totally um, gonna, gonna really recommend it to many people I'm going to continue to say uh, how much I think this place is really working and I'm really happy to be a part of it.